Howdy, y'all. Well, here I am at long last with another chat. Haven't done it for a while. I was down um, south a bit, sort of around Newcastle, and um, visited some friends. And um, he said, haven't seen you on video for a while. And I thought, well, maybe now's the time. How you going, Al? Look after yourself, mate. It was good to see you. Okay, straight into it. Fruit picking. At the time of the, uh, that's here at the moment, there's a lot of people out of work. There's a lot of young people out of work, but we all know how lazy Australian youth is. They have trouble getting out of bed. That's not all of them, of course. 80% lazy, born lazy. When you think a country like this, <coughs> that's bringing in people from Vanuatu to pick bloody fruit. I picked fruit, loved it. I pruned trees. I pruned one week, 2,400 trees. Good money, mate. Picking fruit, no dramas at all. Two and a half ton a day, good money. But nothing compared with some of them. But the youth today, they're quite happy to pick up the money in the bank account from the dole office. The taxpayers pay their way, mate. Why should they work? The baby boomers have got it all. They're the ones that have the houses, the money. They didn't have to work hard. I mean, why would a baby boomer whinge about working 10 and 12 hours a day? He could have been born now and worked seven. They just had a Labor Day holiday. And I said, what's that got something to do with women, has it? Labor? Huh? Going into Labor? No, it was about the eight hour a day introduced. There's sweet fuck all in this country that would work eight hours a day, mate. You take smoko, lunch breaks, cigarette breaks, magging breaks, laying down breaks. There's not much time left for work. Anyway, there you go. Then we move on to, this will be a quick one, Black Lives Matter. Well, that's all I've got to say. <laughs> Black Lives Matter. <laughs> oh, God. And uh, now we move on to the funny farm. Queensland. Again, I'm sorry, but... <laughs> <laughs> Queensland, for Christ's sake. Eh? Over the last 12 years, they've had that many morons in government. I don't think there's anyone up there that's got a brain, you know, like if a brain was coming, I wouldn't feel a fly in, put it that way. But then we've got that poor individual that's in power up there at the moment, the headmaster, comes out on TV and talks to everybody like they're school children. Oh, <clears throat> today we were doing wonderful, wonderful things for Queensland. You can stand up and have a beer. Okay, you don't have to sit down to eat anymore. You can stand on the footpath. You can even stand up to pee. It's, uh, of course, if you're a male, we don't want those. Um, any, anyway, we'll leave that one alone. And um, then about visiting. If you do this, if you do that, we don't want you New, New South Wales people coming here. You bring your diseases with you. Oh, my God, no. All we want is your money. Bring in the overseas celebrities. They've got plenty of money. They don't need to go into hiding for a couple of weeks to get over anything. They just roll the checkbook out, mate, in like Flynn. Football, there's another thing. I mean, oh, my God, out goes the Catholicism and the Church of England, all those other little hangers-on. We've got football. We go and kneel on our knees and pray to the football players, those millionaires that run around kicking a piece of fucking leather all over a paddock. Then they go to the pub and rip and tear and wreck the joint and they chase women. They do all sorts of shit, but do you think there's a problem there? Give me a break, mate. Give me a break. I might be old. I was going to say, but I'm not stupid, but I tend to think maybe I am stupid. I should have left this rat hole years ago. 
Jesus Christ, at least in Asia, you know bloody well what they're going to do. They talk about the Chinese. I won't even start on the Yanks, mate. That's another story. I could write 14 books on that lot. But take the Chinese. They go on about the Chinese. I mean, at least you know what the Chinese will do. You say the wrong word, bang, into the departed. Criticise someone, 14 years in the slammer. I'm talking about 14 years in the slammer. Australians don't live anywhere near as long as Americans. Sometimes that's a bad thing. I'd like to live a couple of hundred years, maybe 300 years. I notice in America they jail people for a couple of hundred, 250 years sometimes. And I think, for Christ's sake, I wish I could live that long. How the fuck is he going to, hey, what's left of him? Do they sit his friggin' bones in the corner? Huh? It's worth a bit of a giggle, isn't it? Thank Christ, the Yanks, I know, have got a sense of humour, I reckon. It's like, but we're learning. We're becoming another state of the, U, of the US of A, bro. What do we do here? We're starting to have the weekend march and the weekend wreck this, wreck that, bash somebody. We haven't come to the shooting yet, but it'll get there. Of course it will. They've just said on the news I heard 20 minutes ago about 450-something people were arrested in a year on the Gold Coast for carrying a knife. They're not going to make a sandwich. They're not there to cut their mackers in half. They're there to stick that shib in someone's gut, mate, if they upset them the right way. Or if they look in their pocket and the doll's run out, oh, my God, there's there's a woman there that's got a purse. She might have some money we could have. So cop this, sweetheart. I wish I was in power. I know what I'd be doing, old fella. That's for real. But that's, that's life when you live in these modern ages. I mean, for Christ's sake, I think the time's coming where they're going to Say, oh, yes, you've got a job, 1000 bucks a week, but uh, we take all the taxes out, everything that you owe the government, like the GST, the money you pay on your cornflakes, and your, uh, your uh, $55 packet of cigarettes. People that smoke now with the tailor-maids, they're paying a $1.50, $1.60 or more per cigarette. Government loves them, mate. They don't want them to stop smoking, for Christ's sake. Jesus Christ. So you go to the pub and get pissed. I can't afford to go to the pub and have two drinks. One of them wears me out, mate. Go in there and you get, you buy a Coca-Cola at the pub. Far out. We go, we go there and have a pizza. Now, the pizza's the cheap bit, mate. I think it's uh, 21 bucks for a pizza. And you think, I might have a, a Coke with this. It'd go down well. And the lady friend, she has a half serve of wine. Okay, so we get a small Coke. I say, can I have a small Coke, please? They give it to me in this little fucker that's that big, made out of plastic. And they charge me about 4 or $55 or something. It was with this little tiny Coke and the half serve about that much of wine was about $11. If you have the big serve of wine, it's up around the fourteen fifty mark, 15 bucks or something. <sighs> I hung on for as long as I could. I wanted to have a piddle, but I, I thought, mate, Christ knows what they charge you to do that. Go in there, there's bound to be a slot where you put a dollar coin in to have a pee and another slot for a dollar coin to walk out of the joint, otherwise you're in there for a month. Talking about toilets, here we have contract workers. We have rest areas. Every country would have a rest area. You're driving along and you're pulling the side of the road into a rest area. You have a drink of water or something, whatever you got in the car, and you go and have a pee, don't you? God, it'd be dreadful to be a woman. They've got to sit on those friggin' filthy seats, mate. Kangaroo and the seat's long gone, but I'd be bringing it back if I was them. I mean, we went into about four different toilets on the way down and the way back. I've never seen such filthy, despicable, disgusting toilets in my life. What the frig are the contractors getting paid for that go there and mow the grass and keep the toilets clean? No, no, no. We've got that many people in this country that take great pleasure in being assholes. 
in more ways than one. For God's sake. Anyway, 10 minutes and 4 seconds. I'd better finish this. I'm getting wound up. I could talk here for 4 or 5 hours. I haven't even hit on the important parts yet. Talk about insults. I was born with insult coming out of my mouth. It was first word wasn't mum or dad. It was get rooted. Yeah, that's what I said. Get rooted. I said that to the nurse. As soon as me head hit the fresh air and I went <gasps> like that. That was the first thing out of me mouth and I haven't changed a bit. I can be Mr. Nice Guy, but by Christ, I'm getting a bit sick of this shit hole. Anyway, fuck. Good day to Jeffrey. Jeffrey Bennett, if he happens to watch this, Jeffrey has a bit of class, so he mightn't tune into this one. But then you look over my shoulder and you can see the Lord of the Flies on the wall there. Look. And I got a picture of him in my bedroom with the friggin' cowboy hat on. Cowboy Joe or something. I wake up during the night with shakes and cold sweat. Look at the wall and there he is looking at me. Fuck. What's. Oh my God, Jeffrey. Freeman. I listened to a t song of Freeman's yesterday, and by Christ, Paul, that was, a, that was good stuff, mate. I enjoyed that. Virginia, take care, Virginia. They're looking for you, mate. They're out there. What do you got over there? The FBI. <laughs> they got nothing to do but go around trying to set people up. Oh, my God. All right, folks. All the best. There we go. You're watching one of the most famous blogs in the world, if you could just get someone to watch it. Hey, Michelle. There's Michelle up there in Chicago, baby. How you going, sweetheart? Arriva Dirty Roma. I've got to find the clicking off sign here. Three, two, one, zero.